Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another AI quick tip. And in this video today, I'm going to try to recreate what I had done a month or so ago, where I took this image right here and I turned it into this image. So what I had to do in order to get to here, I had to come in and we had to take these words out, of course. We got rid of the blonde hair, completely changed the woman's face, changed her clothes, the whole thing. So if you like the background in an image, but you don't like the way the person is looking, this is certainly one way we can can change things up. We could also do in 6.0 now, we could also do a style reference. We could do a lot of other things. We could even do grab somebody else's face and put it on here. We can do a mashup. It's not what they don't call it a mashup. I forget what they call it. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but I'm going to show you the way that I had done this originally to be able to get to this picture here. So we're going to come back to the blonde gal right here and we're going to say, let's open in discord and it's fetching Discord for us, as it said. And the first thing we have to do is we need to make sure that we, um, okay, so here's our image right here. I'm gonna say up, well, let's not upscale it first. Let's make sure first, <clears throat> excuse me, that we have our settings set right. So we're going to just uh, put in SE and come up here and click or you can just hit enter. And we want to make sure we have on remix mode turned on. And as of right now, today is beginning of February 2024. The um, we I got the enter again. I was wondering why I wasn't doing it. Um, we uh, we can only do this in 5.2. It cannot be done in 6.0 yet. And do I need to scroll all the way down to the bottom? We can go over here and click on jump to present. Is that where it's going to tell me what I'm doing with my settings? It's not liking this. Why is this not doing this? Let me see here. Let's hit enter. Should be the settings I'm looking for. Hit enter again. There we go. So you want to come in here and make sure you have on remix mode right here because we're going to need that for sure. Now let's go back to that image and come back in so I don't have to scroll through a million different images to try to find it. And then we are going to upscale here U4, I mean U2, I'm sorry, right here. And now it's going to be, again, way down at the bottom, which is one of the issues with Discord and having to use it. So what we want to do now is vary the region. And so we're just going to click on vary the region. And getting rid of the text is the easiest part. Like I said, I did this a while ago, so I'm kind of kind of rusty on how I did this, but let's just try this. This one should be simple enough. And we will just uh, hit our arrow and see what it comes up with. So this is the result we got right here. Now I'm going to show you again. I did this a couple months ago. And when I did that initially, it was putting in flowers up here. And we can scroll up and see different variations of what it was giving me. So it was struggling with it quite a bit at first. Uh, like I said, a couple months ago, I don't see any dates on here. So I don't know exactly when I did this. But let's go back into Discord now. So now we get to pick which one of these we want. And let's take the one with a little bit more of a cloud up here. So we'll take this bottom left one, which will be number three. So we're going to upscale number three. And we're going to do the exact same thing again. We're going to come in and we're going to say we're going to vary the region. And we can take out her hair. We can take out her face. We could actually take out the entire body and see what happens. But let's just do it one step at a time, which is how I did it the first time. So we're going to grab the lasso tool this time. We grab the square tool or rectangle tool uh, the first time. So we're going to come down here and we're going to grab our lasso tool and we're going to just come in here and we're going to paint around her hair. We'll leave her ear there. We don't want to make her deaf or anything. So we'll come up and around. And so you get the idea here, boom, and we're going to hit our button and let's see what's going to happen. So as you can see, it didn't really change the hair a whole lot. And I went back and looked at some of my old images over here and we can scroll up here. This is the new uh, version of Mid Journey, it's beginning of February of 2024, in case you haven't seen this. But as you can see here, as we can scroll through these and you can see the different hair it put on there, which so that's not much different than what we're seeing right now. We'll go up a couple more images here, and we're going to again see how we got different hair right there, but it did not change it very much at all. So what I'm going to try now is we're going to come back into our prompt, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one we grab here. Let's just grab, let's grab the one with the least amount. Let's just do one. So we'll do a version one here, and we're going to say vary the region. And now what we're going to do is not only are we going to crop out her hair, 
So we'll crop out the hair again. And this time I'm not going to be quite as picky about the air and all that. And we're going to come down here. And at the very end, we're going to say uh, curly brunette shoulder length hair and see what we get by doing that. And we'll hit our button. So this is what I got the first time, which this one here is slightly more brunette than the others were. So I gave it another try, and what I did this time is I changed the prompt, and instead of having the curly uh, brunette hair at the end here, I guess I have it in both ends, I put it here, a woman with curly brunette hair, and I put in two colons, signifying that it is its own separate prompt. Now I also did the very region on the one with the darker hair, and these came up with some pretty, pretty bad looking hair. Um, so... Uh, that's not going to work either. So what I did is I went back and I looked at, okay, well, how did I do these? Well, how I did them is I came from this image here and I must have taken the completely the head right off. So I'm not sure if I got that face from somewhere. I don't think so. It's not exactly the same face, but it's very similar. And so I must have taken the entirety of the head right off. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to go back here a couple generations. We're going to come back to this one here and we're going to vary the region because one of the nice things with being able to go back to your prompts, you can see if you changed it. And I didn't change the text in this prompt anywhere. So I must have just uh, done the um, whatever you call this thing here, the remix on the entirety of the head. So that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to grab the lasso tool again and I can leave what's here existing but now we're going to come down on her we're just going to paint around her neck here right now and this tool works pretty good to get pretty close to stuff and it kind of fills in everything along the way and we will do this and you don't even have to come back to where you started it will fill in if you missed any spots in the middle in there and so now let's hit our button and let's see what we come up with and so this is one of your freakish results that you get sometimes uh, with this is uh, uh, we'll just, we won't even make any commentary on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that prompt and uh, for the, the original one here, let's go back to this image right here is the one we were working on. And let's just say now, this time we're going to vary the region again. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to go a little bit wider. And uh, I forget get what the trick is in here if you go wider if that's better so we're going to go try going a little bit wider this time and then we will run this again so none of these here are necessarily great so we can do one of two things we can either do a variation on one of these i probably pick this one here is the one that has the least issues with the face or we can go re-roll the entire thing again. So actually, I'm going to do both and uh, see it might take me a couple of tries before we come up with the result that we're looking for. Okay, the first image here is all really good looking images. Uh, the only problem is, is it completely changed the background. So I could use probably any one of these four, but it changed the background. And the whole idea was we wanted to keep that background and just change the person who was in it. So let's take a look at what these look like. Now let's gal over here on the left as it comes in. We're going to see that she's got some flowers in her hair, which that actually doesn't look horrible. Here we're back to a blonde, but um, the hair is much nicer. Got an okay image here. I'm not really satisfied with any of these, so I'm just going to keep re-rolling it until I come up with one that I like. And I finally got what I wanted. I had to re-roll this thing six times, and what really changed it was I changed the prompt. So let me show you how I did that. This girl here looks almost identical to this girl here. So, you know, it's one of those things about the uh, programming with uh, Mid Journey. I think they have like a total of like five different women, and they just kind of rotate through them. But um, how I had to do this is it's something I started to do up here earlier by changing the prompt. But what I did is so I put in here a beautiful woman with curly brunette hair is looking up and to her right colon colon three so the colon colon says 
I'm telling the prompt that there's two separate prompts here. We have the original prompt, and then I'm giving it a new prompt at the beginning, and I'm giving it a prompt weight of three. So by giving it a three prompt, but also remember what we're doing here is we're just cropping her head off and putting on a new head. So that's a really cool part. I wasn't sure if that was going to work or if by changing the prompt, they would change the entirety of the picture. Because we were doing infill on here or remix mode or whatever they, they say it's called, um, we were able to just modify that part that we were changing on the image. So let's come back up here and let's take a look at it. I mean, I'm actually kind of excited about here. So we're varying the region. They also refer to it as infilling or in painting or some other things, who knows. But let's uh, do the same thing again. Um, let's, uh, let's say we, she's got uh, curly auburn hair this time. So we say A-U-B-U-R-N is how I think it should be spelled. And let's just see what we come up with here. And sometimes Mid Journey is funny and it uh, clearly thinks that this man is a woman. So, um, and the rest of them here are okay, but uh, not great. We got one gal with red hair. I mean, his hair is more auburn probably than any of the rest. But again, we'd have to re roll this again a couple more times. I think it's struggling mostly with that hair color. But let's, uh, instead of going on goofy on that, let's come down here and let's just use this woman right here in number four. <clears throat> because the other thing that I did with um, these images up here was eventually I then changed the clothes she was wearing. And so we can see here different tops that she had on. And let's scroll up a few more here. A couple more different tops. And uh, so... And I did look at the date. I don't know if I said this already, but I did this at the end of December. So about uh, 60 days ago is when I had done this initially. And I was just checking, you know, you can see here with this other brunette gal here. I was just uh, seeing how can I change? What, what will Mid Journey let me change as far as body, shape, color, dress, all this kind of stuff? And... Uh, it, it's pretty limited on what it'll let you do. You can see what part of the body I was changing on, on there. Um, and so I was just testing to see, okay, how far can I push this thing? And it's not very far, I can tell you that. So um, let's just do this here. We're going to do that. And now what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to say vary the region. We're going to leave the prompt exactly alone. And we're going to vary the region. And so we're going to come in here and we are going to cut out her clothing. And I didn't want to use the square tool. Let's Well, actually, let's use the square tool. Let's see here if we can just do the square tool. Just do that. Boom. And let's see what we come up with. So here is result number one, where I just used the rectangular uh, cropping tool. And just going to kind of look at the clothing to see how well it looks. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Everything here appears to be okay. I mean, everything I'm meaning is all the clothing's there. It's not anything ridiculous hanging off of it anywhere, which you get sometimes, of course, in these AI tools. So then this one here, I did the exact same thing, but I cropped it tight. And again, uh, she got kind of a necklace hanging on here, even though you can barely see the chain if you can. This looks okay. So she seems to have a little bit more skin in the ones where I cropped it tight, but I think that's just purely random chance in the photos. This corner of this arm sleeve here, that's a little janky looking, but you could probably go back in with the same uh, in-painting tool and fix that up. But then I changed the prompt and I said, She's wearing a black evening gown. And again, that turned out very nicely. We got one here where he's got something hanging down here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Here we have just a strap on one side, which is fine. I've definitely seen that in the past. Here it looks like we got stuff on both arms because you can see a little bit of it right there. And here we got a little strap up over her shoulder. And I would guess it goes behind her shoulder, uh, front of her shoulder there, so you can't really see it. So in general, it's looking okay. There's a bit of a shadow or a light spot, I should say, right there that you might want to try to clean off. 
as well. But otherwise, considering what we started with and where we got to in a couple of steps, and obviously what I'm doing here takes longer than um, it, it would to just do it on your own because I'm having to explain it. Uh, but I also cut out all the time where you have to wait for it to do it, do its thing. And that's why with the new new platform that's coming out, it's supposed to be much, much faster than having to do it through Discord. So that's all I have for today. If you got any questions, just let me know.